Hey man, real quick, before we dive into this, uh, make sure y'all pull up to shopstevenight.com. Anytime you see me rocking some drip that you rocking with, go ahead and browse on through that thing, find something you like. I got something there for everybody. And uh, yeah, use promo code do work, get you an additional 20% off. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know, we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. I almost died. And I gotta read this script from all these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Twice I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real And that's how I got in this position. But in knowing you now, there's a more of an awakened Brandon mm -hmm. compared to when he first came into the business. Uh, you mentioned the dress. It's a big conversation yeah. about that. Did you get like slack when you wore the dress at that moment? It was like wasn't slack from people. Only Cat Williams. Cat Williams was trying to always say, "Brand, Brandon, don't wear a dress." <laughs> you know, he called you, or is this? No, he was saying in the media, so I thought he was heckling me. He was really trying to help me at the time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why I'm trying to uh, just trying to make it? Why are you bashing me? And then he was trying to warn me. You know, don't get in the dress. So, the awakened brand, and you couldn't pay him a trillion dollars to get in the dress. What do you think the dress is about? Is it to, to tone us down, to tone that realness down? Is I it think to... the dress, personally, um, is a thing that was, 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 was not in our culture to do. And I think everybody will want to put their culture on us. And no, not to hate your culture or your God. Mm -hmm. If your God say you can put on a dress and your culture is normal for you, that you have the right as a human to choose that. But me, for my God and my culture, my ancient culture, we just never, we didn't do stuff like that. Yeah. So, I was cursed by it. I believe it was a curse that went with that, personally. Because nothing went right since then. That's truthful. No one can tell me, hey man, you think it too much, man. You see what I mean? Can't. Everything went wrong. Just like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. I just fell down the rabbit hole with all this obsessiveness that Hollywood got for putting a black man in a dress. So I had to press record, man, and I'm gonna catch y'all up to what the fuck I've been peeping. I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know, but certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress, at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down like, why all these brothers got to wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. It's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute <laughs> and he put this dress on and it, huh what the prostitute no nah, i'm not doing that i don't feel comfortable with that the, that should have been in a discussion what you don't feel comfortable with it i mean it's a hilarious bit all the greats have done it so well if all the greats have done it it's kind of hacky right you're right so why don't we just not do it because i don't feel comfortable wearing a dress oh come on dave listen we, we got it all set up we're supposed to shoot Every, every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. 
He said, I'm not, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Berle? You know, we're going like this. And then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves. And then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this, uh, Brokeback Mountain in here? So, <laughs> so then, <laughs> like, wear the, wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, uh, oh gosh, this guy's so difficult. They leave. Now the producers comes, come on, David, would be so great. I mean, and then I started thinking about it. All the comics that I've seen, man, you know, strong brothers, why, why are they putting us in these dresses? But the minute it was clear, I was adamant, I'm not wearing a dress, I'm not wearing the dress. All right, fine. Think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later, the whole new scene, hot damn, how did you write the scene so fast? You know, it's like, so you got to take a stink. That means that they had that script already prepared, right? They were just trying, Dave. Trying to get him in a damn dress. For what? What is it about the... It, but anyway, I'll we'll save that. I got more. We got more. We got more. But no uh, offers came in movie-wise that I thought were, would be good for me to do and yeah. that I could... Uh, I hate to keep bringing it up that I could tolerate in my soul. Now, I got offered some parts mm -hmm. that I said I can't, I can't do that. Even though it's acting, I just, and, and then it would start messing with your mind. Why would they offer me a part like that so far away? What do you want me to be a woman for mm -hmm. when you got black women actresses who are funny? in Hollywood, been out there trying to make it, and you wanna give me a part like that? So they tried to put you in a dress? Uh, yeah. Wow. And it was kind of like, you know, you gonna bite this bullet and then you in. Well, you got the wrong nigga. You gonna bite this bullet. It's like they gatekeeping with it. We'll open this door to your success if you rock the dress. Bruh, but wait. Wait, there's more, <laughs> there's more. Dave Chappelle, another great comedian said that, you know, in the industry, they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with, with scripts? And, <laughs> and is that something that, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, for? for... Uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you have to have, you have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they are. Uh, they've yet to been challenged, so, you know, I don't have to speak on them. I was asked to dribble a basketball on a talk show this morning. Like, you look said good, no to that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that was a dress, but I was like, no, I'm going to look stupid. You know, at the end of the day, you got to know that you're a brand. Yeah. I'm a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When things happen that can possibly affect your brand, your your brand can be diminished, and and you don't you don't want that to happen. So you know, protecting my brand is is definitely a priority. The new pope is nine year old Oscar nominee, Kavanjane <laughs> Wallace. Let's just go down the list, go down the list of ninjas in dresses. Kevin Hart, Jamie Foxx. Tyler Perry, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Ricky Smiley, Chris Tucker, Wesley and Snipes, Arsenio Hall, Vink and Reigns, bruh, Dwayne's, Will Smith, Urkel, Jaleel White, Kel, Keenan, Martin again. Bruh, it don't stop, bruh. It don't stop. And it's, it's more than that, bro. It's more than that, man. And there was clearly an emphasis doing this more throughout the 90s, 2000s, because it doesn't seem to be the trend currently. I don't even think it needs to be the trend right now because, you know, there's a there's an effort to emasculate every man today, man. But there's clearly a conscious effort to emasculate men, having them dress as women, right? I don't have an answer for that. I can only speculate like everybody, bruh. 
some elite power thing or maybe it's a way to control them up because of the gatekeep to success and all that man because the majority of these men in here have been uber successful the rocking the dress i can remember as a child growing up seeing these actors that i admired and looked up to you know what i'm saying role models representation of manhood to me and i, I can recall as a child not even being aware of what's taking place as far as emasculation and you know that whole conversation but as a kid I'm like why why is Ving Rain's old big tough masculine ass dressed as a woman all the time why is Wesley Snipes dressed as a woman in that movie I remember as a kid thinking that <clears throat> and you know fast forward years and uh um, it's definitely a pattern definitely a trend and then I'm thinking like are they doing the same thing to the white man are they doing the same thing to other races and shit? Is it just us? So, you know, I had to look it up. There's a couple of them on here, man. Of course, Robin Williams, Miss Doubtfire, Neil Patrick, he's gay anyway. Johnny Depp, Tom Hanks, but that's way back in the day. Um, I don't know who Buddy is. Nathan Lane, William Defoe. Uh, that's, um, I forgot his damn name. John Travolta, Adam Sandler, and of course, Tyler Martin. But the list pales a comparison with the, the list of the laundry list of, of black celebrities, black male celebrities that have had to dress in women's clothing, put on women face, bro. In the 90s, 2000s, there was clearly a conscious effort to put men, to make black men dress as women. It's never been that way. This is Mrs. Arnold too, Arnold. I remember Arnold had to play a woman. Uh, there we go. Kurt Russell, Tim Curry, Dustin Hoffman back in the day. Like they had to go back for these, bro. Like this is way back in the day, man. But um, but there was like no trend of putting a white man in a dress, bro. There was definitely a trend of putting a black man in a dress. And I, but I do notice, like they had the Wayans brothers in there. Oh, they had Jimmy Fox dressed as uh uh oh, oh my good. And no, that's that's uh Martin. Uh, Shanene is Martin. That's Jamie Foxx. But that was all from a living color, which is from the Wayans. So they, they forced their own to fucking dress as a woman, man. So I don't know what's up with that. Ken Ivory had Jamie dressed as a woman. And he had uh, Damon and David Allen Greer doing all that. Two snaps and all that, bro. Like, we essentially doing it to ourselves in that one. But um, outside of that, bro, it's like that 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 Don D.C. Curry and then uh, Dave Chappelle and Kat when there, there's this oh push to put them in a the dress. Like... The f like, what's up with that? And then the fact that they're gatekeeping with it too, right? So like, you walk through this woman face door, we'll give you the world, right? And then, you know, ironically enough, they fucking slander Dave Chappelle's image because he turns down, you know, selling his soul. Cat Williams do the damn same thing. Don DC, when last time you seen Don DC Curry popping anywhere, bro? Like, I wonder how successful he'd have been if he had put a damn dress on. Like, I can imagine myself as a damn actor, you know what I'm saying? Taking my profession serious as hell and y'all give me a, a script. <laughs> So, for for what reason? <laughs> is there even an appeal from the consumer to, to, to see men in dresses? I ain't, is it even that funny? But it's the same story, different day though, man. It's like, this this, di this directly coincides with the whole pedophilia epidemic in Hollywood. Directly coincides with the whole gay shit in, 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 in media where men having to damn suck off other men and getting pumped up the ass to get on. It's the same shit. It's, 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 it comes from the same place. I can't help but to put myself in someone's shoes being proposing that, hey, we give you 50 men, but you gotta wear a dress. Shit me. Shit me. You shit me? Everybody said, yeah. It, I, I, it's, like, it's similar to me trying to sell my soul on fucking social media and shit, bro. Like, cause it don't, it don't pay. It don't pay to talk about the things I talk about, right? It's an uphill battle like a motherfucker, bro. I can sell my soul talking about all that other shit and get paid handsomely for it, right? It pales in comparison <laughs> uh, from, you know, some dick, taking some tip up the ass to get on, man. But it's the same, it's the same shit all coming to the fucking same place, man. The elites, the elites obsession with all this fucking weird shit, um, demonic shit. So, no, it, it pains me to say it, man, but like, the cat better be careful, bro. He better be careful, dog. Like, this shit, this this type of shit make him up, come up missing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that interview is taking the world by storm, even though he been saying shit like that, bro, but on that Club Shay Shay platform, dog, because the reach that damn shit got, and it's just, he opening all these types of doors and letting everybody in, or what the fuck going on, bro? And every fucking thing he's saying can be confirmed. 
Every fucking thing. 